Hey guys, this is Tales of Creed, and welcome to my first Let's Play. Uh, if you can't tell by now, it is A Link to the Past. Zelda A Link to the Past. Uh, it's great to finally get this going. Been me and the star for a while. Uh, had a few things hold me up, but we got this going now. Um, hoping sequence, I'm just gonna go for through it for the people who want it, I guess. I really don't need it, need to know anything, because <laughs> I played through this a bunch of times. I know where most of the things are, but I might miss out on a few hard pieces. Sorry if you're expecting a full playthrough, but it's probably not gonna end up that way. Um... Yeah, it's not much to say, really. Just go you know, watch the opening sequence. This is my third take of this game trying to get through it because the first time I got interrupted because of my stupidity. And then my second time was just horrible. So, let's see if we can get through this finally. We see the world map. Uh, show us the king here. Yeah, he looks like a little skeleton. It's kind of funny. I always thought that was a little funny. He looks like a skeleton. I guess a wizard turned him into one for no reason. And then they're just gonna show us the princess here on that chest. That is that is a really nice chest. I don't care about the princess, I just want that chest. And then there's this one scene, I'm always having this scene in my head because when I did my test run I finally noticed there's like all these blue knights and then there's that one red knight right there. And he's probably like, okay, what are you trying to say? Kind of funny. Well, now we can start. I already made a save file, so we can just head in. And this is basically just the princess suddenly sending us a telepathic message. I have no idea how she does it. But as Chucky Conroy would say, um. Crap, I forgot what he says. <laughs> Nintendo logic, that's it. Wow. That took me a couple minutes to remember. And we we don't even like guess order shield to start. Blue haired dad actually takes it and just goes on ahead to seal the spotlight. So we're just gonna grab this lamp and we're gonna head out. Raining and all that stuff. Not that fun. Okay, so we're just gonna head to the castle. Can't get through the front door. That knight will be a little jerk and say, Oh no, you can't come in. So we're gonna head over here. We're gonna sneak in through the basement. Which is through that oh ditch. And we end up in the basement. And there's blue haired dad, but he failed. There's not even any knights here. Save the princess. And he basically tells you about the technique, which is just hold down the button and just spin. These guys are nothing. They they don't even respond to your attacks. They, they just sit there and take it. Uh, that was magic, which you can use for your lamp. And there are some rubies. Okay. Now we're just gonna head in. Well, first we're gonna go outside, and then we're gonna head in. Um, that's the responsive night. The other ones just don't respond for some reason. Okay, now we're inside. And since there's no experience in this game, we're just gonna 
walk right past these guys. Huh? Not really important. Just get out of my way. Run. Okay, and your real destination right here is, is right here. <laughs> Now you gotta kill this one because you gotta get that key and he has it. And then this one, this little chest contains a map for the whole place. I love this part, you can just knock him off and keep going. That's always cool. See ya. It's always fun to do. Ah, I'm getting attacked. I thought you didn't see me. I'm going pretty far in this. I didn't think we would get this far already in just five minutes, six minutes. I'm gonna get rid of these guys just so I can zoom past back this <laughs> zoom past this place when I'm coming back. Sorry if I can't talk. I'm Trying to not be nervous since this is my first playthrough. Kill this guy because he has the key. And this chest has the boomerang. And we're gonna equip that. Boomerang, it, you throw it and it stuns your enemy so you can just kill him. So that's a pretty good item. It's not that good right now, but a little later. Like a little, not that, not even that far later. It'll turn into a pretty cool item. Right here, um, I think they call this a boss, or it's just a mini boss. I don't know, but he's a little weak when you just throw pots at him. In our pot, throw it at him. That's it. He's dead. Now you open this, and the princess talks to you. He's like, yeah, the wizard's controlling everyone. Yes, I understand, but we don't care about that. We came here for the chest. Five rupees! Now we have to escape with the princess. Okay, the good thing about uh, killing those guards back there was... We don't, we can just skip past that part. I mean, those guys don't respond. Like, there was a green knight right here, he doesn't respond. And these guys don't respond. But the blue knights all the way, like, the next screen over, they respond, so. But it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna jump past them. See, we're just passing. Huh. <laughs> last time I missed. My last take, I just totally missed for. So I picked up that paw for no reason, but that was. That was surprisingly good. Now she's gonna tell us that the secret passage is in the throne room, which is. this top door. Bunch of blue knights, and I'm just gonna sit here and then they follow me. Okay, and then the ore now. Shelf open. <laughs> wow, that's stupid. Okay, what she's basically telling us is to have a light ready and to push this open. But I think we're gonna stop right here because we're. I got uh, pretty far. So, um, if you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe, and there'll be more to come soon. Have a good day.